Man Advice, scene 181. Hi guys, so we are here with Boohoo Man today giving you guys advice on all the antics you might have. Nice, George. Do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, you're really good. Hi guys, I'm Joe. And I'm Georgia. Um, and we're going to give you the best advice ever because we are currently in successful relationships as we speak. Yeah, the most successful. Yeah. The both, most successful. We're both single, basically. Uh, but we're going to give you good <laughs> advice. We have many relationships. Advice. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh. Advice. <laughs> no. Someone wrote this in? Oh my, it is this Someone is real. Someone wrote it in, I really want to know. So, oh, my boyfriend's brother. No way, this is bad. My boyfriend's brother keeps sending me unsolicited dick pics. What does unsolicited mean? She didn't want them. Right. And my boyfriend doesn't know how do I approach this. Her she has a boyfriend and her brother, of the, bo the brother of the boyfriend is sending her dick pics. That is absolutely gross. What? You tell your boyfriend that your brother's sending you pictures and you've got proof. This is so strange, I can't go Imagine over it. Imagine that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, honesty is the best policy here, but why is he so Can I ask a question? It, well, that is so Have bad. you flirted with him? It doesn't even matter because yeah. he's a brother, it shouldn't even... Why would he send dick pics? Do you, can I be honest, Jordan, if a guy just sent you a dick pic, yeah. would, would you be like, oh, that's cool. No. I like a dick pic. I don't like that. You don't like nudes from guys? No, I think, I don't know, I wouldn't, I don't know, I don't, I'm old school though, I wouldn't yeah, like that. Like if a boy sent me a picture of his dick, I'd be like, no. What, what if, so let's say that said uh, penis picture was, um, he, the, the, the guy was, was, was blessed by God, let's just say that. Would, that. would that change things if it was a... Really big dick. <laughs> Yeah, let's. You may let, have let, to see which one has got the better. I'm joking. Let's, let's I'm say joking. say it's like. No. Yeah. People send me dick pics on my like requested messages all the time. Wait, it's whoa, so whoa, weird. Why am I coming into requested? Shut up, Joe. You never there. sent me a dick pic, and you never will. I've applied for Love Island every year since the show started, and never got an audition. What can I do to make sure I get on the show? What can you do? You could do something tactical oh, and bring a tray of sandwiches in for the producers. I feel like everything in life happens for a reason and it yeah. might not be your time, your calling. It's true. Um, and yeah, just if, you, if you're still single a year later, I'll apply again and you, you never know. People have literally got on the show and they've applied like four times. Yeah. And then they got on like the fifth season. So who knows? If you're single in a year, apply again. Don't be afraid to just be like, crazy like i think everyone wants to go in there and like i think people come across like too prim and proper like, don't just tell people stories instead of this is what i always explain right go on instead of just telling people what what you're about and what you're like be exactly that yeah you say i'm a loud bubbly person and everyone be loves you, a loud bubbly person walk straight in be loud as hell and then make everyone love you and be bubbly do you know what i mean don't yeah, just tell of course. people you wanna, you're in an environment where you're trying to date people, so do it. Don't be too worried about the cameras, the producers, or anything Flirt like that. with the producers. Flirt with the team. I don't think that will help. Just tell them that if they were on the show, you would go, you'd come Don't them. think that's the best advice. Don't but kiss them. Yeah. Don't you never know. Don't I've been with my girlfriend for five years, and our sex life has gone a little Five years. We've discussed having threesomes Ooh. a few years ago, but nothing came of it. There's a girl at work that I'd really like us to have a threesome with. How do I bring this up to my girlfriend? So you fancy the other girl at work. That is awful. Oh, I'd be fuming. Wait, can I ask a question? So obviously this is a boy, okay? So he fancies a girl at work. He has a girl. He's been with his girlfriend for five years. Yeah. He loves his girlfriends, but he also wants to have sex with this girl at work. First things first. It, ha it completely has to... I don't think... I would, don't think I'd ever have a His eyes are wandering. I've never had, never will. But what I'm saying is that I just don't think that... Yeah, surely if you're in love... Oh, I don't know. Surely if you're in love with someone, you should just be strict with them. But I guess people are quite sexually free nowadays. I'm just saying... If it's all on her part, it has to be completely from her. If she's, if she's up for it and she doesn't want to suggest it, then so be it. But you shouldn't pressure her. But as a guy, you can't push that. No, you can't pressure your girlfriend, who loves you, to have sex as a threesome 
just to make you happy if she doesn't want to do that, because that's wrong. How and do you drop that in? You're at home. How do you drop she's, that she's in? Cut, she's making you a tea, right? You've got some biscuits on the side. Let's just, let's role play right now. This cup of tea is lovely. Do you know what would go really well with it? Some biscuits. I've got some, babe. Yeah, but baby, you've only given me two. I like them in threes. How good. That How good. is what you do. How good is that? Okay, that is the best advice. That is what you do. You ask for three biscuits. Three biscuits is all you need. Gets the initial. I think I've fallen in love with my best friend, but I know that she doesn't feel the same way. I feel like I need, I need to get it off my chest, but we'll risk losing my friend. It's actually funny this has come about. Yeah, this is funny it's come Georgia, about. Georgia, I've wanted because... to tell you something for a while. Um, and I just think that, I think that, um... Oh. <laughs> you took it seriously. I'm joking. Oh, I was I thinking, oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> um, she didn't me. Let's go. Um, this is hard. Yeah, that Boom. is hard. You can't. You can't change I a friendship just, I, into I, a relationship. I couldn't fancy you, mate, because like, you've given him the friend zone. Have you ever had a friend you changed into a relationship, yes or no? I feel like I've, if I've got a friend, I've looked at my friend as a friend, so I've never looked at them Sexually, very much. Yeah. Me and my friends talking in the group chat about friends, girls, and guy friends, whatever. I think the majority of your guy friends, right, you have guy friends? Yeah. Say you was to go to them one night, right, and you message them and go, hey, where are you? I'm really lonely. Can you come over? With the horny devil emoji. Obviously. But then I feel like you're complicating things because then. Do you, you think they would accept? That's the question. Do you think they'd accept? Yeah, they're a boy. So they're not your friend. Because they could, they're intrigued. But then I would then not look at them the same. I wouldn't be able to be their mate. If you're like, in a friendship. Oh, I don't know actually. Maybe you could. Weigh up pros and cons as to whether if you went for it all, would it be worth it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? That's what you have to look at. And if it's not. Yeah. If it's not, and if it's going to hinder too much, then just leave it. Then just leave it. Agreed. I know what to do. You give a few little flirty signs and just see how she corresponds to that. Perfect. Right. And then you either take it more forward or you leave it, depending on her retaliation. So you say something like, um, oh, because we're actually going to give them like real scenarios. You go, here. Yeah, go okay. So, so like, they, they say something like, um, oh, you've never looked at us in like a... A different type of way, would you? we could never actually do anything like that, could we? Could we? I've just come out of a long-term relationship and I'm living my best single life. <laughs> I don't think she is, or him, because if they, they won't be saying it. They won't be saying it. But how do I escape a one-night stand? I don't know, tell me, Joe. how'd you do it? So when I was younger, I used to do this when thing. When you were younger, you mean uh, last week? I used to do this thing called uh, an emergency call. And uh, I would text my brother the, uh, the text that would be emergency. Um, and and he'd ring you. And he would call oh, me. Oh, that's a good little idea. He would call me. That's a good little idea. Well, obviously, I'd fake cry. So the phone, would, the phone would go. This is a great technique. The phone would go. And I'd be like, yo, man, what's up? He'd be like, say something. Yeah. And then I'd be like, what? Okay, you don't need to take it as far as say crying. John, John, what's happening? No, right now, John. I'm coming. I'm coming. Well, you don't need to react in that manner. That's just a bit extreme. But you can do a fake call. And scene. It's fantastic. It works every time. Maybe even change up the story if you want. Make it exciting for it yourself. It actually works 30% of the time every time. Just saying. That's statistics right there. You can't lie. Last one. We've got the last advice from you guys. I have been dating this guy throughout the whole of lockdown, but he still hasn't asked me to be his girlfriend. How do I get him to commit, or do I just call it off? Oh, okay, this is a girl from a girl's perspective. Right, I think... Oh, right, I, you go, because you're going to be way better at this than me, but I've got a savage one, so go. Yeah, okay. I feel like if he wants to make you his girlfriend, you will know, right? There's one quote that I live by. If you're confused, he don't like you. If he likes you, you know about it, and it's so true. So, if... Who, who called that? I saw it somewhere. Is that Da Vinci? Huh? Is that Da Vinci? Don't know, but it's good though. I loved it. Um, so, yeah, if you're confused, he don't like you that much, but don't take it personally. He might not be ready, but also, if you leave, he might... Get, hit him. He might... Hit him where it hurts. Give yeah. Him, give him the ultimatum. Give him the ultimatum. Say ultimatum. you want to go. Leave. Either take Say me seriously... Or don't take me Yes, you're wasting my time. 100%. I want a relationship with someone. If you don't want that, you're wasting my time. I'm going to leave. And I'll find someone else. And then we're he not, will decide what he wants to do. We're not talking about, oh, 
let's leave it then and then go back on a no. night. We're talking about let's cut that completely and let that person know what it feels but like to be without you in their life. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's all the advice that me and Joe have for you today. Yeah, and guys, let us know how you get on. Please yes. feel free to message us or Boohoo Man Official in the Instagram. We DM get them. invested. I can't wait. I can't wait. We get invested, so we want to know how it turns out.